Hello. Right. How are you doing? Happy. Really noisy outside. Uh, happy, uh, what day are we on? Tuesday. Tuesday? Yeah, it's Tuesday. Welcome. Hello. I've completely lost track of what day it was today. Oh, so, uh, let me just get one thing organized. And that would be this. Uh, how are we doing today? I hope we're all well. Desktop audio. I need to, I need to, I need to get that. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Anyway, hello. Happy, happy Tuesday. Each and every one of you. I hope you're all spiffing and all of that good stuff. Uh, why is browser six muting output? I want monitoring output, surely. Surely. Very strange. Very strange. I know I'm missing something on this. I'm going to have to look at this YouTube setup and figure it out. However, there was something I did want to figure out very quickly, and that was... Burgundy? Burgundy. Was Daka Rhett? That doesn't sound right. Basically, the issue was... I've got to paint these uh, ropey things. We've got to do a couple more coats of Ushabti Bone. That's what we were working on last time. Uh, we want to get a nice smooth coat before the end of this stream. And then we can start doing these ropes. The ropes were actually causing me issues because I couldn't figure out what colour to paint them. I'm looking at one recipe and it says Wazdaka Red. Now, I purchased Wazdaka Red because I don't have it. This is the colour. It's... Compared to the power of Evil Sun Scarlet, there is quite the difference. Like, to me, that's this is looking more pink than red. Which is the issue when generally you get when you get when you're painting reds, right? One it's one step uh, the, the paint is one step away from turning into pink or uh, yellow or orange or something. So I think rather than highlight up Often a good move to shade down or, or desaturate the shadows and then have the high point as the pure red. That's how I do things a lot of the times, but sometimes, a lot of the times I also forget, which doesn't help. Hello, Reno. It's good to see you. How you doing? What's cracking? Hello, Meg. How's it going? Good morning to you as well. The outside of the cape is a dark color. Yes, we are working on the inside of it, though. I want to get the inside done. I want to get the inside done. Because then we can attach it to this guy and then we can paint the outside of the cape. This, it, we're almost ready to basically get it attached um, to, the, to, the, to the torso. I've got some shading to do on this metal work back here. Um, around here and stuff and a bit of highlighting. I'm happy enough, like you're not going to see this, but we need to get some base color on the, on the actual actual base. So, um, I need to put a bit of texture stuff down on that before we do that. And then we'll basically be able to hopefully have the cape ready for, um, hopefully gluing on on Friday. Crossed fingers. Anyway, this is my mobile phone. This is my wallet full of zero money. No, it's a joke. It's got a tiny bit of money in it, but not enough. You like money, smash like. <laughs> there we go. God, that's what you do on YouTube, right? You just always request people to smash the like button, smash the follow button, just just smash. Always, always be smashing uh, all of the things. No, no, no. It's it's all right, Reno. It's it's absolutely okay. It's um, yeah. This is the inside of his cape, and it's it's these stupid rope things. To me, they look brown. With a, a tiny, a tiny touch of red, so I think I will base. Mm, I don't know what I'll do. I'll probably cry, but I'm not quite. We're not quite at that stage for the moment. We've got a couple more coats of Ushabti uh, bone to sling on this bad boy. What's going on there? The message is held for review. <laughs> 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 
Apparently, YouTube is suppressing. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. <laughs> yeah. That's a weird one. YouTube, I thought, was all about that life. Do that sweet interaction. I know. I know, Reno. It's incredibly rude. Listen, if I was running YouTube, which I'm not, more's the pity, uh, it, things would be different. I wouldn't be in that situation. I'm frightfully sorry. However, I almost didn't stream today. We've got build, the builders are next door doing God knows what to the neighbor's house. As far as I can tell, they're just standing outside having a chat. And that's all they've been doing all morning, and occasionally whacking something into a into a wall, and making a racket, and frankly driving me around the bend. Because so I've had my 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 latest video. It's very saucy. However, um, we got the first coat, so like a third coat of paint on. We've got a few more to go. That'll be fine. But it's it's been very frustrating because like I've got my um, the next video. The, well, not the next video, next week's video. Folks, I am way ahead of the curve for once. I've got four unboxings recorded. Oh, hello, sorry, excuse me. And I've got, um, I've almost got my second, second painting video edited. I've knocked it down to 20 minutes, down from like an hour and a half. So after stream today, I'm going to have to edit the audio. Like, put some voiceover to it, which is what I was almost considering doing that this morning. But the uh, the builders are noisy. And I didn't want to basically import import their voice into the vocal track and then have to worry about cutting out their noise. <sighs> what's up, Tubbs? <coughs> Sorry, what's up, Tubbs? How you doing? What's cracking, dude? Good afternoon to you. Now the, it is indeed the Blood Angel one. What I need to do after stream, I'm going to tell you exactly what I'm going to need to do after my Twitch stream at twitch.tv forward slash glorious badger. I need to go and record. I So this guy, I've done the video for this guy. Almost. I've just got to chop down the first beginning bit. But I need to put him onto the turntable. DJ, uh, DJ Vampire Boy. Along with uh, the Night Lord and the... Iron Hand, so I can get three turntables shot. That's three weeks of silly, like, YouTube shorts done right there. I've got to make more YouTube shorts. Apparently, that's that's the way of the future. Nothing but short shorts. Look, I know, Meg. I know, it's ridiculous. I don't know what's happening to me. It's the, it's the impending doom of packing the house up. I slowly started, got, I've started sort of organizing a couple of things. So it's slowly starting to happen already, and it's already terrifying. I, am I, Reno, I am doing TikTok. I'm glad you asked. I'm so glad you asked. I do have TikTok somewhere. Uh, what would it be called? I don't know how to do the links on TikToks. Also need to paint his base goblin green. Tell me something I don't know. I just, I just have to be very wary of using that paint. Um, because there's only so much of it left in the world. What would my link be for TikTok? By the way, I don't want I don't want to boast, but I'm up to 805 followers. What's up? <laughs> um, I I got to be honest. I absolutely hate the app. I can't stand it. It's the worst. Uh, like, I, I can't figure it out. Adding hashtags is terrible. It's just absolutely terrible. It, like, gives, it, you start typing something and it suggests a bunch of, bunch of stuff and you, you select one of those. And then, oh god, it's just the worst. It's the worst app ever. They need to, like, sort their bleep out. Oh, Martin Dewar, how are you doing today? <laughs> I won't ban you, I won't ban you. <laughs> Did you ever fix your username? Well, hold on. What username? My my YouTube username? Not yet. That when I move house, I'm gonna rebrand. I mean, we're still currently at. Hold on, steady. 
492 subscribers on YouTube. Um, I am going to change the username or the account name or whatever channel name. But when I move, like I'm still a th un sub a thousand. Like that's like one of the thresholds for uh, rolling around in YouTube money. Um, it's got to be like a thousand subscribers and four thousand watch hours. I'm I'm over a thousand watch hours, so I'm a quarter of the way there and just under halfway there, subscriber number wise. You're very well. I am good. I am awake. I am awake, Martin. I think we can we can all agree on that one. And beyond that, I can't guarantee anything. And I'm literally waiting for paint to dry. Uh, we're going to put another coat of the shanty bone on very shortly. You hate the app as a screen burnt? You are, oh no. Oh no, on TikTok? Last I'd seen you were still... A user followed by numbers? Oh. Oh, God. Uh, is that an issue, Meg? I... 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 I I don't know how to use this app. It makes me feel so old. Oh, God. It does say... It does... Wait. I thought the username was what people said. My name does say user... And then a whole bunch of numbers. Do I have to change that to Glorious Badger? Oh, no. That's the worst. I didn't realise... I feel so stupid. Oh, no. Awake is a fine starting point. Yeah, exactly. That is very true. Um, you need a coffee, Rina. Get that coffee. You can change that. I'd recommend doing so. Okay. Does it make me look like a boss or something currently? Okay, let us get some more of this Ushanti bone on. Uh, I'm I'm pontificating. I think we need another two or three coats of this. Um, it is very, as you might call it, watery down, watered down, watership down. Who here enjoyed watership watership down as a as a young child? I know I absolutely <laughs> did not like it. Who will be having their children watch that? Martin, are you gonna are you gonna let your kids enjoy that? I can't remember when I watched it. I was young though. Traumatized for days after what yeah, likewise. I think all kids were. <laughs> it was Meg, thank you very much. I think I might be able to fix it, although I will absolutely come and get um a chat with you about it, because I've got to be honest, the app itself, I I figured out the majority of it, but when it comes to adding the hashtags, it's just it's just the work of the devil. It's the work of the devil. Your two will be watching the Lego movie instead. You won't be traumatizing them. Oh, okay. Alright. Fair enough. I, I suppose I suppose that's a good call. <laughs> do you reckon they would remake that? Like Do you think that would be a show which is made in, in this day and age? I don't think it would be. You'll traumatize them with your jokes instead. That's a lot safer, yeah. That is true. So we are. Work I'm going to do one more coat of this, and then this is going to be our base coat um, for this particular bad boy. And then I'm going to just kind of wick away a little. I should have done this a bit earlier, truth be told. I'm going to wick away a little bit of this excess paint because it's going to end up looking thick. Not not the way we like things to look in that regard. So we're going to do some thin coats of um, brown over the going to do some thin coats of brown over the uh, ropes. We got that is going to be gold. This thing, I don't know what it, you want to call it. That will be gold. Uh, we'll do some brown over the the rope, then we'll wash the entire thing with a wash down. We'll do wash. We'll wash over the entire thing with a watered down seraphim sepia, so that this gets into against all of the rope bits. 
Uh, if required, we might do another coat of that just over the ropes. And then we can start stippling on the highlights using pure of shouty bane, screaming skull, and ivory. Uh, honestly, with hashtags, go with five to six relevant ones. And that the bigger the number next to the tag, the more views that tag has. I want to use all the hashtags though, Meg. All of the hashtags. <laughs> it's a weird one. Like I, maybe it's just uh, I don't know. Maybe I've just been using. Like when I when I was doing Instagram all the time, um, I was using all the hashtags. All the, so I was trying to find the relevant ones and all that sort of stuff. But you can use thirty, so I was trying to cram in thirty. Um, and then then basically my Instagram has stalled at like four thousand eight hundred followers, subscribers, or whatever you want to call them, uh, which is it's been on around that number for quite a while. Like viewership was like. Arr! And then it's uh, making those noises as well. Um, I don't know if it's just specifically ever since the reels, the real situation started happening. I like to blame it, but I don't know if that's the reality. I might just be looking for an excuse. It could just be my content's terrible. Um, if they remade it, it would have a happy ending. Well, we all like a happy ending, don't we? However, uh. I don't think that all shows should have happy endings. I think a lot of them should. But I don't think they all need to. It's like setting up this like weird expectation in life where everything works out all the time. <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh more tags work on Insta Furious, but oh okay, Meg. Well I will I will endeavor to um I'm gonna heed that advice. I will heed that advice. Yeah, I do need to work a bit more on TikTok. It's um, I've been thinking of like chopping up some of my YouTube tu some of my YouTube tutorials and smushing it into trying to <laughs> trying to smush them into really short TikToks, um, if possible. Icarus falling away. Hello there. How are you doing today? It's um yeah. It's it's just so much work. So much work. There is only there is only video editing as I'm currently. Like there is not huge amounts of paintings. It is of all video editing. Something I need to get weight. I am getting slowly faster at am I getting better? I don't know. Alright. Interview day. It's gonna be a good day. It's gonna be a good day. Alright. It's gonna be a majestic day. Okay. I don't even know if that bit's supposed to have paint on the truth be told. Okay, I think... What's everyone, what's everyone else up to today? I am painting and editing. That's basically all I'm going to be doing. And then ideally, then ideally before I go to bed, like an hour before I go to bed, I'm going to get an hour of Call of Duty in at the most. I managed to unlock one golden camouflage yesterday for a, for a handgun. I've got to do, I've got one more handgun to, to unlock a gold for, and then I've unlocked all the golds for the handguns. And then I can be really impressed with myself for about three seconds and then uh, realize I've got all the other things to do. So I'm going to wait for this to dry. Then we're going to do the ropes. We've got to have a severe chat about the ropes. Blah, 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 blah. I think I might go corn red. I think corn red. Might not be dark enough, but it's what we're going to go with. You can upload them as part one to... Yeah. I don't know. I've got to figure out exactly how to do it. Because unfortunately, I view in... Sorry, I record in... Like... Hold on. Where are my hands? Like, you know, 9 by nine by 16 at 1080. Landscape, not portrait. So uh, it's it is an issue. I'm gonna have to figure out how to do it. What when I move house? So I would like what I would like the plan to be is eventually get my get myself recording in 4K, um, specifically for YouTube, and then like shrinking it down, 
like shrinking the actual footage down to like 4K, the output to 4K, uh, 1080 for YouTube. But at least then I'll have the, all that real, real estate space to, I don't know, turn into hashtag content. In a few hours, Icarus is going to be fantastic. We're working on Marduk Sedras, his cape. It's waiting for this paint to dry, and then we're going to we're, we're going to start putting on some red onto the um, ropes. We've got a bit of gold to paint, which I'm not looking forward to, to doing because it's going to be terrible, but it has to be done. It's going to wick away any excess little paint. We don't want too much paint build up around these bits of detail. getting that seraphim sepia there in a moment anyway. <sighs> Valkyrie off the interview, I think. Had a very long time and never touched it. Oh, I've got one of those in the... Already, well, packed away for, like to, to worry about in a new house. Or the next place. Actually, not the next place I live. The next place I live is not going to be the final house. It's going to be, it's going to be like a, a interim step. Just trying to remove any excess paint. Otherwise, we don't get things getting too thick. Almost there with this, and then we can put the, start putting some red on. So the reverse of this cloak is going to be also corn red. Uh, we'll wash that with null oil. We'll do a, a heavy wash of null oil over that, um, and then start bringing the red up. Oh, you know, Stabby. I normally I my normal response. I can't. I probably can't say on Twitch on YouTube, so I'm not going to say it. It's all right though, Stabby. How are you doing today? Happy, uh, happy Tuesday. What's the guy's story? I don't know. Um, oh, he was. Oh, he's a he's a he's a dreadwing geezer. He was he was going to be sort of put on like some high commission. I don't know high commission. Some like, but he wanted to stay on the field, so he 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 accepted a lesser role, a lesser commission or something. I think he's a captain or something. And he's got a sword. Apparently the sword has got like bits of like planets in it. That they the, the dreadwing go and take over. So he's got like sort of shards of bits of planets on them. It's a it's a pickup thing. Um yeah, I don't really know he it's he's a dreadwing geezer though. Absolute <laughs> absolute geezer. <laughs> uh, I'm going to get some corn red onto this wet palette. Actually, I'm looking at this paint thinking it could be maybe we do use this and then go over it with like they use a null oil wash, but I reckon if we go over it with a brown, I'm going to see what this looks like on the on the actual miniature. Give it a quick look. Which wet palette do you use? I use my own <laughs> wet palette. This is a 
a nightmare is what it is. However, that's the only I don't have much room on this desk currently. So like when I move house, firstly the the first thing I'm really looking forward to is not having I've got a computer on the edge of that desk on the disc. I've got a computer on the edge of this desk. I'm looking forward to moving that off. What I'm also looking forward to is getting the two monitors in front of me on like one of those arms mounted to the wall so I can get more space. Um, so yeah, it's basically, I just got a, a sandwich container, a lock and lock. You know, so it's got the like a silicon seal or something around the edge of it so it stays nice and, um, you know, juicy in there. <laughs> However, I do... I have got, I do have a wet grass, uh, wet, <laughs> everlasting wet palette, uh, version two, ready to go. Like I did the Kickstarter for it. I knew I wanted a, a decent wet palette. It's like, it's, it's a shallow depth. Whereas the sandwich containers, I don't know, whatever that is like an inch and a half, two inches deep. This is not even half that. Like it's, um, Worth a look at if you've... Like, I know there are a few wet palettes out there. When I grow up, yeah. I I gotta say, I hate moving house. I, I hate it. I mean, it's gonna be, it's gonna be good. I, I'm fully aware of that. It's gonna be good to move house. It means I can get a nice new room to just fill up with more stuff. <laughs> However, it does mean I can reorganize. Like, I won't have yellow walls. Like, the yellow walls... They're not ideal for painting in because they like they bounce yellow light around, and I've got blue light above, uh, white light, blue light above me. It's a whole, you know, it's not ideal for painting this room. So you know, it's going to be a good thing moving. Although I do despise moving at the same time. So, <laughs> but do you know you can make a wet palette out of like um, you know one of those kitchen, those square sort of kitchen sponge things. A you can use one of those a sandwich container and then soak the ki kitchen sponge in water and then lay on on top of that some um some baking paper some silicon baking baking paper siliconized baking paper i guess if you want to go the sort of homemade route which is what i've done for the last two and a half years pretty much um and that works i mean i've been using a kitchen I've been using a kitchen towel. Sorry, a kitchen tile, in fact. I've been using a kitchen tile for, uh, like, 20 years. So, um, I mean, that works as well. I still use this, in fact. So this is... What colour is it? Wazdaka Red? A colour I've never ever used before, so it's my very first time. Use a Citadel paper palette booklet thing, you hate it. Yeah. I I haven't used it. I know people like it is an option. I mean I've been using I've been using this thing, right? It's a kitchen tile ceramic right it is not fancy at all this is the thing i like about this is take it to the kitchen once this is like full of like got paint all over it and you can't see the you know that anymore it's got a nice white background so you can tell if like the paints are a good consistency and stuff um and you can take it to the kitchen afterwards pour boiling water over it this paint sort of all comes off really easily and it's back to square one i've been using this particular one since i moved back from the states in 2002 basically so um i do think these are a good thing especially for sort of um if you're working on like one miniature or something and how you can have it in front of you can mix up paints really quickly and then the, the paint will dry out obviously but if you're if you're using small amounts of paint it's fine um if you're army painting or needing paint to last longer wet palette is definitely the good move
Yeah. Plus, it's like it's cheap. Those those tiles are cheap, right? And uh, I know like money is an issue, right, for many many people, including myself, which is why I like I went with the homemade wet palette and indeed the the homemade uh, well the kitchen tile. Thank you. I don't have a drifting command yet, Stabby. I must get that organised though. I must get organised. Thank you. Uh, Jammy, what's cracking? Good afternoon to you. Yeah, I must remember I was... I was recording. I had to record something before the stream started very quickly. I had to move the camera. Which is like my own down, my own fault, my own downfall. I'm the architect of my own demise. You find the paint dries out? Yeah, I, the paint definitely does dry out on a on a on a tile, especially during the summer. Uh, like during the winter, I don't really have the heating on very much. I I prefer wearing more clothes. So, um, I mean, the paint obviously does dry out, but it it, it tends to last long enough for for my use. But I mean, I wouldn't use it on like army painting or or a. I probably wouldn't use it on a large miniature. Like if I was, if I had a huge amount of paint to sort of use. Uh, a tile is one of the first things I bought when I was getting back into all the, this glorious nonsense. Yeah, it's um, I it's definitely a good thing. Like it's ceramic, so the paint doesn't stick to it, which is which is a huge bonus. I mean, I I would like to be able to find one of Mum's old ceramic palettes like um you know those well palettes you get it's got like a sort of it's got like it was like a circle or whatever and they got all like divots in which you mix paint up and usually it's got like a central a central bit as well mum has a bunch of uh the old like ceramic ones if i could get my she's still got one of those knocking around that she doesn't need i would definitely be liking one of those um, for mixing up sort of washes and glazes, etc., etc. But that's what she used to use when she was restoring antique um, porcelain. Back in the back in the good old days. So we are going to put Seraphim Sepia over this, so we're going to have to come back, add the colour again, a bit of colour. I want to be kind of neat with this because I don't really want to be painting Shouty Bone again. I want to stipple it on, I don't want to have to tidy up any disasters. Anyway, I hope we what are we all up to today? Let's get the... Uh, Let's get the classic question out of the way. What's everyone up to? to see, we've made a mistake already. <laughs> Great. Oh, well, there is going to be glue over that bit, so we don't have to worry too much. Um, I need some more. I've never used this paint. It's a nice one. One, guess what you're painting. Are you painting... Orcs. Orcs. Oh dear, Jamie. I, uh, I, I. Uh, I'm sorry to hear that. I also. I'm going through that. I hope that. Um, well, I don't even know what to say. Truth be told, I am. Uh, very sorry to hear that. Okay, hold on. Uh, oh no. (laughs) 
It's out of nowhere as well. That's that's. I think that's even worse. I think that's genuinely even worse. Like if 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 it's kind of like an old age thing, these things. I mean, it's gonna happen anyway, right? But out of the blue, so much worse. I'm so sorry to hear that. Um. Orcs, orcs, orcs. <laughs> I ha okay, for, by the way, I don't want to change, not that I want to change the subject, but um, I do need to figure out what orcs I'll be getting, what orc model I'll paint in, in October. Uh, orcs, orcs, orcs. I suppose there is Age of Sigma orcs as well, potentially, to look at. Uh, but October is a thing, so I will need to get N, like, I can't paint up as much as I would have liked to, due to time considerations. So I'm thinking the Death Dread could be a good option. Um, I ca it can't be anything massive. The October is like a is one of those internet like things for like sp spamming orcs all over the place. So a Death Dread could be an option. I do like some of the vehicles. Always they're always tempting. Death Dread is currently my potential choice, but we'll see. I guess. Um, still got a lot of black to paint. Oh, hold on, hold on. Black Templars, right? You doing Black Templars? I saw something this morning. Hold on, let me see if, let me see if I can find the link for it. I don't know if you have a three D printer though, so this might not be of any use to you at all. Big squig. Oh, I, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, I see. I painted the. I painted up what's his features. You know that guy. You know that one orc. The beast boss on Squigasaur. I've already painted that up, and I I will absolutely want. I I used I painted up the generic one. Uh, I didn't paint up the character one. So I, I would definitely like to paint up the character on the Squigasaur after I've moved. Because I, I absolutely adore those models that I think, especially the like the large ones on the Squigasaur, I think they're great. Uh, it was very enjoyable to paint. Uh, what was I looking for? I was looking... Oh, a link. Hold on. I know there was a link available. Um, I saw it this morning... And I thought to myself, someone may find this uh, juicy. This link is absolutely horrific. On the great white squig, yeah. I Well, I painted mine. Okay, this link is horrendous. So I can only apologize. However, if, if you like... Um, I yoinked it because I might very well paint up a Redemptor um, for my, for Black Templars at some point. And uh, that's 3D printed sort of add-on bits. And it's currently free. I think they're, ju they're just starting up a, a Kickstarter for some bases, 3D printable bases. So uh, might be, it might tickle people's fancies. Failing that, I did notice they have a merchant tier, which is concerning. Do want to get back to 3D printing stuff uh, on the great white squig? Yeah, I painted mine on the great big uh, fleshy squig, which was very juicy. Um, so hold on, you were talking about the what the were you talking about the knob on the smasher squig? The other one. And they're uh, making a racket again. Fantastic. I'm hyped. I'm utterly hyped. The music's paused as well. Always play the music. Never pause it, YouTube, you muppet. The Hunter rig, I did not realise was so expensive. 80 quid. Hmm. 
Yeah, I'm tempted to... I, I keep getting tempted by Orc armies. It sucks. The new Death Cult... Oh, do they... How new are they? How new are the Death... Because I know they're in the Combat Patrol box set, right? And I've got... I've got Gaz. I would have liked to have painted him up if I hadn't been in this situation. So uh, I will have to remedy that later. Let me have a look at the commandos. Where are they? There's the Beast Snagger boys. I've already got flash kits somewhere, but not... <clears throat> oh, there are the Death Copters, yeah. Oh, the Kill Team commandos. I mean, that could be an option. There's, what, 10 commandos there? Combat Patrol is boys. I have heard... And that's got a Death Dread in and the flying things. I have heard issues about the, the box set, uh, like the Orc Boys. They're kind of monopose, but you, the op the weapon options, I think, are an issue. I don't know, though. Is that correct? 20 or 20 to 1. The last copters were Black... Really? Black Reach? My gosh. That is a while ago. No options for the boys. Yeah, that kind of sucks. But if you've got no boys at all, then I guess... That is an issue. I don't know what... By the way, I've got no idea what we're going to be painting on Twitch today. We're going to continue painting uh, Marduk. We must continue painting Marduk. I've got to say, I'm liking this red. Weirdly. I'm digging it. I think once we go over it with Seraphim Sepia and then uh, start bringing the red back, I think we'll be groovy. <laughs> you utter rascal. Managed to rescue that just in time. It's going to have to wait a second before we get back to that. Um, apart from the noble, the rocket big gunner. Oh, okay. I, I don't know. I don't think it's that new. I just haven't owned it before. I've never owned this paint, so... Um... I think it's been around for a bit. I just don't know how long. Like I, I keep... The name sounds really familiar. I just can't place it. I am liking it, though. It's, it's definitely not... It's definitely not a bright red. I'd say it's more of a subdued red. But it is in a sort of that sort of red reddish spectrum. Um So we've got to try and get it's stupid. I knew this was going to cause me problems. It's fine. Now I have to remember that I will be doing a Seraphim Sepia wash over this. So there is a bit of, there's a tiny bit of leeway along where this, where this rope attack sort of smushes on, lays against this cape. Uh, it doesn't need to be 100% accurate, but it's obviously going to help just general neatness.
However, so the combat patrol is definitely an option because it's got the death dread and the copter, uh, the copters, or and uh, you know that sort of stuff. However, there is all, always the age of Sigma to bear in mind. Uh, Orc war clans. I don't really know how much they uh, intrigue me. I, I gotta be honest, I don't know if the New Orcs, whatever they're calling themselves, the Beast... No, hold on, what are they calling themselves? The Cruel Boys? I don't think... Like, I liked the idea of a couple of them. Like, the Breaker Boss on the My Brute was kind of tempting. As with, like, a lot of these things, I like the look of them initially, but then after a while, I'm just like, eh. 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 I don't mind. I, I'm quite happily without them. Uh, I, I've i done the Weird Knob Shaman. Painted the Mega Boss, the Gore Grunters. Meh. Mm, I don't know. The Warhammer Plus Orc Boss. It does look cool. I was just looking at it. I just had a quick look at it. And what I need to do is get my sweet, sweet hands on the new, uh, what's it called? Warhammer Plus? Yeah, uh, Bazdrog Neck Chopper. I'll put him into chat rather than... Oh, yeah. Um... They're a bit too serious. Like, I kind of... Let me actually let me let me see if I can show them off. I mean, I can show them off, but I ha wasn't prepared to. Uh, one more there. So I, in fact, I've done a painting video on YouTube for this guy. I really enjoyed painting him. I would like to paint up another Mega Boss at some point potentially, and that is the Warhammer Plus Auric Mega Boss there. Um. Yeah, the new the new uh, cruel boys certainly living up to their name because they're so cruel. Uh, you know, they live in swamps and stuff. I think. I just definitely not Kragnos. Kragnos is a terrible miniature. His face looks like he's been slapped with a frying pan. Looks like he's been playing PUBG and someone whacked him with a frying pan. Um, and it's it's a sad state of affairs. But his his face is just it's just terrible. There is nothing good about that at all. Um I believe these are all available on the new Are they doing Warhammer uh, Warhammer sort of Imperium magazine again for Age of Sigma? I I imagine they are. They're definitely kind of a different vibe. To like the rest of Age of Sigma, I guess. This is the only one which has sort of vaguely intrigued me from that range. Maybe in the future we'll get around to this. I don't know. I don't think Age of Sigma. I don't think Age of Sigma has anything for me uh, when it comes to orcs. Um, Gloom Spike gets. I do have this miniature, but he's un—he's unpainted. I don't know. I guess Seraphon. I don't know. This Age of Sigmar in general doesn't really do much for me. It tends to be the older stuff, which used to be in the, in the um, Warhammer Fantasy battles. Those armies still intrigue me. So, like Seraphon, I guess uh, the Empire or the Free Guild, as they're called now, and uh, Slaves to Darkness. And also just like an undead army of proper undead. So no no not really any of the Nighthaunt stuff. Not too many vampires at all. Mostly skellies and zombies would be my jam. And sweet sweet Nagash. Oh you've gone for that, Martin. Nice. I keep looking at on eBay. I keep looking at that miniature on eBay and getting tempted. Stormbringer is the part works. Following up Mortal Realms, yeah. I've just gone out for a second trial. Yeah, no, I saw someone asking that the other day as well. 
Martin about like they thought they'd seen it, but they hadn't heard anything else about it. Hello, Mike. What's cracking, dude? Happy Tuesday to you. I hope you're well. Yeah, like I, I think I'm definitely old school when it comes to fantasy. I, I'm not saying I don't like the idea of painting some of the newer miniatures, but I'm not invested enough into them, into their like aesthetic to pay enough to get an army of them. So like the Empire, yes. Skaven, yes. Slaves to Darkness, yes. And like Undead Skellies, but I don't like Night Haunt. And the the Bone Daddies, not interested in them either. Doing all right? Hell yes. How is your Tuesday looking? Is it absolutely magnificent just like yourself? Um, There's not enough Wood Elves and straight up human... Exactly, exactly, Martin. I, I, Funnily enough, Wood Elves were probably the ones which would... <laughs> Hilarious. Uh, I probably would get if I was into sort of elves. Um, that's why I'm really like, I, I'm trying to not get too invested into Age of Sigma. Uh, I'm going to try and keep that money for the old world, even if that is a couple of years away or whatever. Sorry, Mike White. I've not used that. I know it is a paint though. Doing well, taking a short today. Going to make you some vacation. Yeah. You gonna you gonna do some relaxing. got to get the top side of these ropes and then basically we've got to do the gold and then we can serif and sepia it uh, apparently not it's on the citadel lap hey watch my time yeah i just i just i just scrolled down to check the time i was eyeing it up and going oh god there's there's all the stream gone yet again these these youtube streams i am enjoying them they just definitely go too quickly It's just, it's just like trying to get enough kind of. Content out there so that we can over time accrue all the hours required. Or. You know, getting monetized and all that sort of stuff. Okay, well, it looks like we've got this mostly done. Sorry, I know you can't see this. I know you can't see this. Uh, it looks like we've got this mostly done. We've got a bit of tidy up to do. What I'm going to do is I'm going to do the tidy up off camera because you don't need to see me curse and struggle over trying to get all these sort of uh, bits tidied up a little bit. We've got this side of the rope needs to be done, etc, etc. We've got to put a tiny bit of gold paint, um, which we will probably use Liberator Gold. So I'm going to do that. I might... 
Actually, no, I'm going to do the Liberator Gold right at the beginning of the next stream so that um, we can straight go straight ahead and go in with the Seraphim Sepia Wash over the entire thing. And then we can start stippling in all, on, in, in all the highlights uh, on this cape on Friday. That is the plan. And hopefully we can flip it over and attach it to the body uh, sometime on Friday and then get towards finishing the entire miniature. That miniature is... This geezer right here. I don't know if we will get it finished for Sunday. I'm certainly intending to. So yesterday on Twitch, we did the edge, edge highlights for this guy. I need to double check the detail around here before we commit to anything. Uh, I need to do a little null oil wash and then some highlights on the metal. But I'm thinking that the back is possibly done, although I just remembered he's got this weird brown leather belt right there, which I haven't painted. So I need to go and go, and go back, paint that like I've painted this leather right here. Uh, we've, got some, we've got some highlighting and stuff to doing on this sword, and we've got to paint the stupid gun and his phosphex grenades and he's got an egg timer he's got a tactical egg timer friends so that's what we're going to be doing over on twitch at twitch.tv forward slash royce badger icarus what's that saying uh that's fine um that's the plan at least well mike you make your plan a reality that's what i'm going to say to you there we go that's as much positivity as I can muster. Um, guy in your club wants to modify some normal marines into chaos marines. Uh, he wouldn't. Yeah, he would. Yeah, he would be. He would be able to play them. Conversions are allowed. I think the only issues are when you like if you if you wanted to use them in a uh, a games workshop store. Or in a tour like a Games Workshop tournament, um, they have to be all like GW rather than 3D printed stuff, or or like massively uh, purchased 3D printed bits and pieces. I think, uh, but I don't play tournaments. I don't play competitions. I don't do any of that stuff. So I don't know. Grim egg, Grim Dark Egg Time, absolutely Reno. Yeah. So yeah, no, the um, converting regular Marines to Chaos Marines is absolutely doable. Yeah. So yeah, this this guy over on Twitch, we're going to do a bit of the sword. We're going to start smacking a bit of detail down onto this gun. Tactical egg timer, phosphex grenades. And I might start eyeing this up and going, why do I want to hate myself so much and do some checker painting? Um, he has white and black on his left shoulder and red and black on his right shoulder. So I'm going to maybe start marking those out. Um, but he is coming along. I'm really enjoying painting him, actually. And it's uh, we've got some gems to do, obviously, on the sword. But yeah, you know, that's a Twitch thing. Uh, we can continue doing the sweet, sweet cape here on YouTube. You've made it this far, but you have not yet subscribed. Do consider uh, subscribing. There's my hypnotic wiggly eyebrows. There is a there is a Twitch. Let me do the Discord. Check out my Discord. There's stuff and things. Um, 15 minutes for the new Black Templar video, and I'll see you exactly, Icarus. Yes. Folks, thank you so much for hanging out with me today. It is half past, just past. So I'll say thank you very much for hanging out with me. You've all been absolutely majestic, as always. Uh, if I don't see you over on Twitch, hopefully I'll see you on our next YouTube stream, which is Friday. My next YouTube video is going live tomorrow evening at 7 or 8 p.m. Uh, it is painting a Night Lord. Yeah, for Horus Heresy. So, so please, please do check it out, like, comment, and all that sort of good stuff on it. It really does help. It might not seem anything to, to uh, people, but uh, all that lovely interaction does mean a huge amount, and it is great for the channel in general. So without further ado, goodbye. Thank you.